Oh my god, I did it. It's been done. The 30 days Agricola Marathon. It is done. Finally. It didn't feel that long actually, but yeah, I did it. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god, okay. So I put the camera here and I I played Agricola in this chair on this computer for 30 days straight. And I played it on this website called Boy to Ju Oh gosh. Hell yeah. It's been freaking done. 30 days. Three zero. That's like an entire month. So around when the quarantine started, I was just like, hey, why not? I'll just play 30 days straight. I've been interested in Agricola for a while. I own Caverna, so let's give it a go. And then when I started to play, I was like, whoa, this game has a lot of replayability. Like a lot. The ordering of the spaces gets mixed up from game to game, but most importantly, the occupations and minor improvements, which are cards you select at the beginning of the game, are insane. Anyways, quick montage, go. It'd be pretty interesting to just play Agricola every day for 30 days straight, so here we go, this is day two. I actually really like this game, I played it once yesterday, so we'll see if I still continue to like it. Let's fill in my Google Calendar here, so I can uh, make sure I get all the dates lined up. Uh, must be an easier way to do this, I feel really dumb. Okay, this is day three of playing Agricola. Okay, I don't really like, wanna play right now. Hello? My game just crashed. Freaking out of strategy. I was gonna get wood so I get a fishing pole or fishing whatever and then get more food on that and then I was gonna buy a pasture house so I can farm all the animals and just go really hard on... Ah! Day six, not gonna lie. I feel a little burnt out for Agricola. Advanced mode, there's so much reading, it's crazy. I feel like I'm not getting better. Next day of Agricola. Oh. Okay, it's day 10 of the Agricola Marathon. Wait, is it day 10? Oh my god, new high score again. Oh my god. Very right, day 24 of Agricola Marathon. And uh, yeah, it's not working. Not available. It's officially the last day of Agricola, day 30. But since we missed a couple days, somewhere in between, because of the server shutdown, we're gonna do a couple more. It's day 31 of the Agricola Marathon. Ooh, uh, all right. Well, I just checked the spreadsheet and it looks like I'm done with the Agricola Marathon. Hell yeah. I'm done. Okay, not gonna lie, the time passed like really, really fast. Like, it was over before I even knew it. I was like, whoa, day 30, what? My high score was 64, which I got twice, which according to my research is not too bad, but it's still a long ways away from the best. But I did pretty well in the family game scoring, so I guess that's cool. So after a month of playing Agricola, I concluded that it's actually pretty darn fun to play solo. And for the days I didn't feel like going as hard, there was a nice family mode to just chill out. I think the farming theme that Agricola has is just chill. So at the end of the day, it was nice to just plop down here, sit back and play some Agricola, sowing seeds, growing your family, and baking bread. I just cranked up my video game soundtrack in the background, and it was pretty cool just farming, listening to music, jamming. And if I was really brain dead at the end of the day, I could just use the family mode, which had way less reading because it didn't have improvements. Yeah, the family mode was more forgiving, but it had different spaces, so I had to like chew my way on how to use those efficiently. Okay, so let's go to the improvements and occupations in the advanced game, which are insane, especially the first couple times around. Yeah, so I didn't even read through all of them. I was just like so confused at first because there's 20 cards to read from at the beginning of the game and there's so much text on them, different abilities and costs. I didn't really know what I was doing. And some of them have some pretty crazy abilities like sewing wood, giving you special points if a certain condition is fulfilled or being a space to go on. There's a lot. So when I started to play day after day after day after day, and I don't have enough fingers for that, but yeah, I realized that the minor improvements and occupations are really, really fun. You're thinking about when's the best time to buy them and all the cool combinations you can do with them. And over time, you'll start to develop a bit of a tier list in your head. And when thinking about these cards, I couldn't help but be reminded of my times when I used to play card games and about, oh, wow, that card is better than that card. And I wasn't surprised at all to find a breakdown of all the cards online, just like what you would find for a trading card game. Okay, so I get the answer to my question, how's Agricola like? And it's good. It definitely does seem like a quintessential farming game, and the amount of improvements and occupations definitely makes it a really good Desert Island game. But to be fair, I've only played it solo, so I'm a little scared on how punishing it'll be with multiple people. 
I think Agricola is a wonderful gem of a worker placement, but I'm a little reluctant to buy it because of how much reading you have to do for newcomers. But if I had a serious group to play Agricola, I would 100% buy it because there's so much thought that goes into drafting and playing all the improvements and the occupations. And since I already own Caverna, I could just use all the pieces from this to pimp out my copy of Agricola. So yeah, that's it for my 30 day Agricola marathon. Yes, I actually did it and I filmed all of it, I took notes. Wow, I don't know if I'll do this again in the future because 30 days every day is quite a bit of time. But you know, let us know what other videos you'd like to see. We got more reviews, more stuff coming up. Stay tuned, bye-bye.